Hello friends, and welcome back to It's Cocktail Time. Friends, today we're gonna make a drink called the Dirty Blonde. The Dirty Blonde is a variation of a dirty martini. That's what it looks like to me. And um, I'm really fond of the flavor of olives and olive brine. So I saw this, uh, this recipe and I thought, let's try it. Now, I'm not really sure who created this because I'm seeing various different stories. I actually saw this recipe on foodandwine.com, but I read uh, some history of this drink and one history said that it was created at this restaurant called Butter in Chicago. Another thing I read was that it was created by this woman named Gemma Wade, um, who I guess is a bartender. I'm not really sure <laughs> where this was created or when this was created, sorry. I do not have an interesting origin story this time, but the drink sounds cool, so let's try it. How do we begin? We start with our shaker with no ice and to this we're gonna add two ounces of vodka. One. And we're going to add uh, three quarters of an ounce of Lille Blanc. Now, um, Lille Blanc is an aperitif wine and uh, it's super good. I really like it. It's very good uh, with club soda on ice in the summer, very refreshing. This is taking the place of the vermouth, um, as you may have guessed. So it's got kind of a citrusy flavor, which uh, dry vermouth does not typically have. So that's going to add a little something different to the cocktail. So now we're going to add this. And we are going to stir this around. Ah, but before we stir this around, we're going to add the magic ingredient, which is one quarter of an ounce of olive brine. So what is olive brine? It's just all this liquid that your olives are sitting in in the jar that you get from the supermarket. So we pour that in. It smells good. Now we stir. We meld the flavors of the ingredients to each other and chill them just a bit. All right, when we are done stirring, we are going to strain this cocktail into a chilled cocktail glass. This cocktail is garnished with not one, not two, but three olives, which is exactly the way I would order a dirty martini in a bar. Three olives. One, two, three. All right. Now we get to try our dirty blonde, a variation of the dirty martini. Is this better than a dirty martini? Hmm. I'm gonna say no, and I'll tell you why. Um, as I mentioned, the Lille Blanc, which is substituting in for the vermouth that you might typically have in a, uh, in a martini, um, has, this, has this sort of bitter citrus undertone, and uh, dry vermouth does not typically have a citrus type flavor profile. I don't think that's a good mix with the olive brine and the olives. I don't think citrus and olives go well together. Um, that's not working for me because I can taste the, the hint of the citrus undertone from the Lillet Blanc. This is not working for me, folks. Um, I'm not gonna recommend this. If you like your dirty martinis, I don't really think that you're gonna like this. Um, yeah, because I, I like dirty martinis and I don't really like this. I don't, I, I think that the citrus is an unwelcome extra flavor in here. I don't think that it adds to the drink. I think it detracts from it. So I'm going to give this a big no, um, but it's always worth a try to experiment with new things, right? And uh, that's what we do here. Anyway, drink up, enjoy.